without blinking that not supports the radical reforms, the radical changes that are yet to be pronounced by His Excellency, the President of this Republic, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, and that shall make it an official pronouncement. What we have is not very official, but it stands to be true. That is what the President is going to announce. Now, I've been asked about changes like uh, one, uh, augmenting capitation to schools. This is known to every one of us that schools are struggling, the head teachers and principals are struggling sure. to make ends meet. The cost of living has shot up. And we cannot just do everything the way it used to be done earlier without making changes. I want to commend the Presidential Working Party for coming up with changes in terms of augmenting capitation to schools, both primary, secondary, and the special needs education. The other issue is about the reduction of powers of the Teacher Service Commission. I don't know to what extent, but what we proposed as Kenya National Union of Teachers was a clear path in matters quality assurance by TSC and the Ministry of Education. What we wanted in a nutshell as Kenya National Union of Teachers was a clear role without antagonism, without hitting at each other, that is Teacher Service Commission and, uh, and uh, the Ministry of Education. So we pronounced in our proposals to the Presidential Working Party that we cannot afford to sit in matters conflict between TSC and the Ministry of Education. Again, in our own proposals as KNUT, we actually talked about ECD. You know too well that basic education starts from ECD to secondary schools. 99% of our head teachers are graduates. Sure. If anybody thinks that head teachers in primary schools are not graduates, you are wrong. And if there is any teacher who is not a graduate and is ahead, and maybe the changes would wish to propose that he or she be demoted, that is one of the worst labor practices that we shall not allow. We shall insist that our head teachers who are not graduates proceed for education and actually attain higher qualifications. Because we have the qualifications to proceed to universities. So for one reason or another, one could not proceed to this level. But it is most unfair, and I say and insist, the worst labor practice is the issue of demoting one from a position to a lesser position. It is not tenable. So we are going to, uh, uh, we are going to support our head teachers who fall in that, and we shall make proposals to the working party. What is it that this head teacher cannot do if one or two is not a, a graduate? So basically, we are prepared and we have our teeth out to buy it where necessary so that our teachers remain comfortable as they were. If anything, some of these teachers you're making reference to are some of the best teachers. It is basically administration. We all went to college and we learned basics in administration and we even qualified and qualified highly. 